Yo, what's going on today, guys? It's your boy Loza. We're here today with Godsmith of Chaos, actually. Godsmith of Chaos and I are going to play at Easter Duel. How cool is that? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Happy Easter, everybody. How's it going? Godsmith here. So, uh, just before we get started, the Dark Magical Circle dice are for your banished cards, and oh, nice. the DM dice are locked out zones. Oh, yeah, you're going to be locking my zones. God dang. May, may the heart forever be in your cards. Tell you what's not in these cards. We will. Any good cards. <laughs> oh, this is not um, too bad. Let's try... Cast your Theosis? Yep. Alright. That's such Search a cool card. Unicorn. Oh, I see that Mahard in there. <laughs> That's cheeky, yeah. cheeky Mahard. Well, I took DMG out and put Mahad for the, the for rank seven turbo. Yeah, it's fair. It's funny because like I take out DMG all the time and sometimes put it back in, and then like the Dark Magician's like last game got destroyed and I could have summoned out DM and DMG, but I'm not playing her. And someone in the comments, I bet on this vid, will be like, "This is why you play Dark Magician." Girl. That happens so much to me on Master Duel. Whenever I play, because I took, I use Mahad as well, so I can get out uh, the number 11 and stuff. Oh, yeah. When I get into a bind, yeah. so I can steal a guy's card, and I'll do the place where I get Mahad out. But so many times I have the Dark Magician down on the board, and then he gets destroyed, and I don't have DMG. I'm just like, no. Oh, but then all the well, games where you do the play heck? DMG, they'll just, like, banish it or, like, unicorn shuffle it, so you're like, what? Yeah, and, it, <laughs> and there's no point anyway. Yeah, and, oh. that's bad. So, uh, fact, you know, uh, unicorn to search? Yeah, go for him, man. You be searching. Oh, wait. I couldn't play cast your theosis. Why? Tar target one cast your monster you control. Special summon one monster from your deck. Oh, Should yeah. have the field that's, spell. That's my bad. I, uh, I completely illegal play. Illegal play, so backtrack. I just threw it back in the deck. Yeah, that's all good. Alright, so back to the beginning. Alright, may the heart forever be in your cards. Let's go, I believe. Alright, so normal summon, cast your guys heart? Yeah, go for it. I don't actually know what this card is. going does, to affect. So. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> so, if you control a monster, you can special summon this card from your hand, okay. which I do not. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra, extra deck for the rest of this turn, except Xyz monsters. During your main phase, if this card was normal summon or special summon this turn, you can banish one Castier, one Castier card from your deck, except Castier Rise Heart. Banish three cards from your opponent's deck face down, and if oh. you do... And if you banish any, this card's level becomes seven. That's kind of sick. Okay. So I'm going to banish Fenrir. All right, no worries. And then I have to banish top three, was it? Yeah. Of my deck? Yeah, top three oh, of your deck. Okay, one, two, three. Well, let's hope. Oh, that's, that's quite annoying. <laughs> oh, nice. It's quite not epic. I put my banished face down up there. Okay, now well, that, that I'll take some cards in my hand. Yep, go for it. And that's now level seven as well, right? Yes. Nah, that's very uh, easy. Unicorn. Uh, unicorn comes to hand and I special summon from my hand. Yep. Defense position, affect unicorn to search. Go for it. My will be Pressured Planet. Oh, yeah. Play Pressured Planet. Uh, when this card is activated, this is the card that I thought I had before. I can search. A Cashier Monster from your deck. Yeah, your go for it. Add a cash. I will do another, another Fenrir. Oh, I'll actually do Unicorn. Scareclaw. Scareclaw? Okay. Cashier to hand. Yeah. Then I'll play Earth, special summon Fenrir 
from Banished. Ooh, yeah, yeah, that's nice. Affect Fenrir to search? Yes, go for it. It will search maybe itself. I think that's good. Oh, yeah, there we go. The big one. Mm hmm. And then. Over to him. Then I'll summon Scarepaw Kashdira in defense position and banish Ogre. Okay. And then I will start Xyzing. So I'm going to Xyz Unicorn and Fenrir into first Shanger Era. Then Scareclaw, Riseheart, I mean Scareclaw, Kashtira, and Kashtira, Riseheart, overlay into Diablosis. Then effect, first effect of Diablosis to banish one from your extra deck. Oh shit. All right, I will fan you out my extra deck. Good. It will, uh, for one, Dra one Dragoon. One Dragoon? Okay. Uh, face yep. down or face up? Face down. I think it's face down. Yep. And then, then I'll chain Kashdira, Shanger Era, and lock out one of your spell and trap zones. Okay. Which one? The middle one? Sure. Easy. Yeah. Easy peasy. Does the so I have also... to detach, so yeah. I'll detach. Does the Avalos also yeah, so like, do something else now that you've banished based on the banished face down cards I have or something? Um, so I can, so he has a third effect. His second effect is when I attack, I can banish one of your cards that you control face down. But his third effect is if the card is banished while he's on the field face down, I can activate his third effect, which will banish cards from the top of your deck equal to the amount of yeah. banished cards. That part. So do that part because you banished yeah. from extra deck. Yeah, so I banish four cards already. Um, I'll activate his third effect to banish four cards. Top four? From the top of your deck. Or, yeah, it'll be another four. Yeah. So oh. it'll be eight oh. banished okay. cards. We, we, we lost uh, one of the red eyes. <laughs> Lucky we're playing and two, I guess. Chain, <laughs> chain Shanger Era to banish, uh, lock out another spell and trap zone. Yeah doesn't matter which one. You don't care which one? Okay, I'll just do this one over here. Okay, cool. Um, that is everything, I believe. Um, end my turn. End phase past you. Epic. I'll draw for turn. Maybe I should make my screen big when it's my turn. I can just see terrible cards. But a terrible quality, but that's okay. All right, we're going. If to... you activate a spell card, yeah, I can banish three cards from your graveyard. Oh, okay. Well, but if you got no graveyard, then you can't banish any cards. That's very true. Well, I am gonna activate a spell. I'm going to activate Red Eyes inside, and we're going to send Wyvern for cost. And then I guess you can banish the Wyvern if you want. No, not it says three, so if you only have one in there. Oh, you have to do it at three. Okay. That's, that's what cool. I'm assuming. Yeah, if it says it has to be three, if it doesn't say up to three, then I think you're right. Am I okay to add Red yeah, Eyes? It says yeah, it says you can target three cards. Oh, yeah, so it has to be three. Interesting. I won't cut too much because I'm going to be using some other things. Okay. Let's go ahead and activate... Oh, I should do that first. Let's activate Salvation to try Set Eternal Soul. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think I only play one and I'm pretty sure you banished it. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's gone. It's uh, it's here in the face down vanish. Yeah, and that circles in there too. F. Oh, is it? Oh shit, it is. Okay. Let's go for preparation of rights then. Yeah. 
Gonna try and find me an Illusion of Chaos. Two of them are banished, but I think I play three in this list. Which is weird, I normally don't. No, I'm not playing three in this list, so... I don't even think I can activate prep. Because there's no target. So, oh yeah, because you only had two. Yep. Alright then, well, I guess... Balls. Try to allure of darkness. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll draw two. If you activate one more spell card, I can banish three cards. Yeah, I've got three engraved right now. Um, but I right. will have to banish from hand. We'll go ahead and banish Magician Souls face up. Didn't draw into what I wanted to see, but that's okay. I'll activate Red Eyes Fusion. Mm -hmm. Is that all good? That's all good to go. Okay. Send red eyes, send DM. So playing the two red eyes here did help. No. <laughs> now activate. Now chain cash. Would cash to your birth be in a new chain? Uh, yes. So Dragoon will come out and then okay. I think birth will be a new chain. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not a quick effector, but it's. You activated it, so I'm going to activate cash to your birth. Yep. What would you like to vanish? Uh, let's do. DM, Red Eyes, and Wyvern. Yep, the correct options. Um, now, do I try and negate this with Dragoon? Considering and they go face down. Okay. This is an activated effect, right? Uh, yeah, if, if, is it, if, I can't read it for some reason. Yeah, if your opponent activates a spell card. Okay. Um, I should probably change Dragoon, right? I will change Dragoon, discarding Soul Servant to try and negate and destroy. Oh, we get the destroy two, so we gain a thousand. Big, big, big. Um, let's activate Dragoon effect. Now activate Shinger Ears effect uh -huh. to detach and stop you from destroying it. But I haven't picked what I'll destroy yet. But do you well, I thought you were going to do both. Oh, yeah. I'll try and do um, Did Diablos first, though. Okay. Uh, bam. Bam. So I lost 28. So that's 28 for Diablos. Yep. What does that put you down to? Um, I'm at 50, 5,200. Okay. And I will attempt to do it for the other guy. And I think you can detach to protect or something, right? You cut out there, sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, the big Sphery boy. Uh, I will try and use Dragoon Effect again to pop him. Sorry. All I right. negate that. All good. If this card on the field would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can detach one material from this card instead. Yep. That checks out. I will okay. Back. banish Soul Servant to try draw one. Yep. Okay. Ooh. I will set a back row. Mm -hmm. And I will... I'll set a monster as well. And I will pass. Two cards in. Okay. Uh, enter draw phase. Yep. I will attempt to activate Cash to Your Birth. Hmm, what do I think about this? I think that's fine, go for it. Okay. And then I will attempt to activate its effect to Special Summon from Grave. Yeah, go for it. Is it Grave or Banished or Grave? Yeah. So Special Summon Fenrir and Defense. Okay. Effect Fenrir to Search. Yep. 
Beauty Farm. And then I will normal summon Unicorn with birth. Okay. Effect a search with Unicorn. Go for it. Astiotheosis. Yep. Card good. Okay. No, oh, yeah. Activate Theosis. Yes. Okay. Special summon from hand or from depth. Man. Best year, Fenrir in defense position. Yep. On the There's no effect. Of... Okay, that's all good. On the summon of Fenrir, I will flip. Or in response to the summon of Fenrir, um, I will flip because of match. And which is that? So that this is, is each player tribute? can yes only control one attribute. Okay. Who do I want to control? You know what? Screw it. I'm getting rid of fire. I'm gonna do earth. Okay, so you're gonna keep the Fenrirs. Easy. Um, Z's into who's in there. If you do make an Z, it's gonna be an Earth. Yep. Oh, he's got it. He's got an Earth. He's chilling. No, I don't have an Earth. Oh. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, I don't think there's many Earth XYZs, really. Mm -mm. I chose wrong. <laughs> That's all right. It, it seems right, well, pretty impossible to play around, to be honest. For cash. Yeah. Set one, and... Battle phase, anything? Not main phase two. You can just skip and straight end to end phase if you want as well. Okay, well, right to end phase. All right, easy. I will draw for yeah. turn. So they're both at uh, twenty five hundred because of pressured planet. Ah, is there any protection on them or anything? Mm, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> All right, let's find out. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> let's go and we're going to flip this face down card up and it's Magician's Rod we'll have no effect on that but that's okay um, then we're going Flash me to wrong. let's go and use Dragoon Effect is that mm -hmm. okay? That's, I'm going to uh, activate Fenrir's Effect in response to that doesn't Fenrir target? Yeah, but I can I can target Rod. Oh yeah, of course. I forgot mm. I had Rod on the field. Yeah, go for it. I can target one face up card your opponent controls and banish it. Yep. So I will actually target goes and match. Oh, it's just card. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Banish goes in. And then chain second Fenrir for Rod. All right, and then Dragoon will resolve his chain link. Or is it only once per turn? Uh, I think it. I think it's once per turn per card, though. I, I think you're fine. I think it's a soft once per turn. Kind of like uh, if you have two Eater of Millions out, you can attack with both and get the Banish effect. Pretty sure. Yeah, it is. You can use each of the following effects to cast your Fenrir once per turn. It's just cast your Fenrir. Doesn't say this card. Yeah, so no, I can only banish right. one, so keep Rod on the field. Wait, no, you can do both. Oh, okay. Yeah, you yeah. can do both. Pretty sure. Um, so then Dragoon Effect will resolve his chain. So weird, like I watch so many videos and study this shit, and then during a match I forget. 
<laughs> yeah, there's so much to keep track of in Yu-Gi-Oh, though. Um, Dragoon Effect's gonna pop one of them. I don't really care which one. We'll go the middle one. Take them both? Yeah, I mean, I will ah. try I will try and just pop them both. Take them both? Yeah. Okay, so I'm down 5,000. Yep. That'll 200 left. 200. Enter battle phase. I'm dead. I will indeed enter the battle phase. And swing with Dragoon for game. Yep, yeah, game. Bang, bang. Dragoon, best card. Am I right? One, two, three, four, five. On the bottom, draw five. All right, would One, you like to go first? Three, four. Summon Frenrir. Affect yeah, the yeah. search. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Unicorn. Dark Magical Unicorn. Dark Magic Unicorn. Cast your birth. Yep, we birth it. Yeah, and then I'll summon Cast your unicorn effect to search. Very nice, very nice. Go for it. Okay, so I'm Ooh. getting rank seven. A pressured planet, rate saw. Mm -hmm. Castiotheosis. Okay. Sweet. Where is the ogre? Where is that big boy? There he is. The ogre in the fence. Okay. Affect the search for a trap. Oh, yeah, he searches the trap. Go for it. Big bang to him. Press your planet rates off. Search for Rice Heart. Oh, yeah, that's the new one. The level four. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm going to Xyz, Fenrir, and Unicorn into Shangri Era. And then affect Rise Heart to summon and whatnot. Okay. So I'm going to banish, banish Ogre. Where is you're not ogre? Uh, Scareclaw attached here. Oh yeah. Or can I do it from hand, or does it have to be from deck? From my deck, yeah. So Scareclaw attached here. Summon to banish three from the top of your deck. Yep. One, two, and that. three. What? How have you done this again? Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> Two IOCs again. Yep. And lock out your center spell and trap zone. Yep, sure thing. Does that thing become a level seven now as well? The uh, level four? Yep. Okay. Yep. So it's happening again. We're, we're losing some more. Cash dear birth. Um, oh, yeah. Effect. To summon Scarecrow? Yeah, go for it. Um, you can special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, banish one Castira or Scareclaw card from my hand. So I'm gonna uh, banish Big Bang. So when I banish Big Bang, it allows me to detach one for Shanger Era. Yeah. To special summon, I believe. They must ban banish monster you control, face down, blah, 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 blah. If this card is banished, you can target Castira Shang. Castira monster you control, add one Castira monster attached to it to your hand, then you can special summon that monster from your hand. Okay. And then I'll Xyz these two. Into Diablosis. 
the mind hacker. And activate first effect to banish one of your dragoons. Yep. Easy. Mm -hmm. Does that trigger the other guy? The big red guy. And then that triggers Shanger Era for a second one. Yep. Should you have triggered it on the big bang banish as well? I don't banish any of your cards, I don't think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's just an effect. So if I, if I was to use this, if I was to set it and then flip it up, if a Kashjira XZ's monsters on the field and the player controls two or more monsters, they must banish monsters oh, okay. they control face down. Gotcha. So. All right. So, so yeah. Banish or banished. Okay. Yeah. And, now and then top since the Shanger era has a... No, not yet. So oh, since Shanger era has activated... Since Shanger era has activated its effect, I'm going to... Cast your rise heart over top of oh. all right, or a rise heart over top of rise heart. Okay. Then I will activate Diablos's third effect to banish four cards from the top of your deck. Okay. Oops. Okay. It's it's very similar to last game's banishes. <laughs> and, <I say. laughs> and then cast your rise heart's effect to attach. Cast your big bang to a rise heart. Okay. And then uh, chain cast your shanger era to lock out another zone. Easy. So how many zones do I have locked? Three? Yep. And I still haven't normal summoned, correct? Uh, yes, because you... Or no, I, no, I normal, I oh, normal summoned yes. unicorn. Sorry, you didn't normal. And I brought back... So, yeah. Um, I believe that is all I can do. Yep, that's all I can do. So, end turn, pass to you. Okay, I will draw a card. I will activate Red Eyes Insight. Sending for cost. Don't Any mind. card that gets sent to the graveyard is banished instead. Oh, like... Wow. Well, does that mean I can't use this? Because this has to send from deck to grave. Hand or deck to grave. Any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead. Once per chain, each time a card is banished, attach one banished card. I'm not sure. I Does it say it's sent to the graveyard? Because if, if it just says to use the card, then that can be sent to the graveyard. But if it says be sent to the graveyard, it won't work. Okay, um, sorry, I just got interrupted, but, um, yeah, I won't be able to use Insight then, because any card said that the, is banished instead, and it, it needs to send to Grave. So, no Insight. Okay. Um, that makes things tough. Your camera seemed to have froze on my side. Oh, sorry. One uh, sec. I'm not doing anything, if it helps. <laughs> I was looking at my hand. Oh, I haven't reset the life points. It was because my earbud was done. Ah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Okay, I'm yeah, going So my to... earbud was dying. No, that does not help. I don't think I can play this game because I've lost so many crucial pieces. I'm going to normal summon Rod, though. And try to use the effect. Yeah. I will grab Soul Servant. Yeah. I'll just give myself a little cut there because I'm going to activate Circle. Just thinking if I want to chain Soul Servant to that. I think I do. I'm gonna chain Soul Servant. If that's all right. But I know my Eternal Soul is gone, so it's a bit of a yikes. Going to oh shit, it gets banished, doesn't it? Any card that goes to grave gets banished instead, right? Yep. Ah, that's a problem. Uh, we'll add. It's secrets. a walking. Uh... Cosmos. Yeah, exactly. 
Uh, we'll stack secrets on top of the deck. Soul Seven will get banished, unfortunately, and then Circle will resolve. We'll look at top three. Uh, add the secrets. Since you banished a card, yeah. Uh, I have to activate a Rise Heart. Um, that Soul Servant that you just put there is gonna get attached. This is okay. Your Soul Servant going. It's going to get attached okay. to a Rise Heart. That's cool. I'll move the Soul Servant out of the game. Alrighty then. Well, his hand is pretty dead. <laughs> and then I'll activate a I'll activate a Rise Heart quick effect. Yep. To detach three cards and banish Circle. Okay. Easy. Circle is gone. And this and then again since Banish was I mean Circle was banished, I'm going to have to have to chain a Rise Heart and attach another card. So I'll attach Big Bang. And since Big Bang was banished, it detaches uh, a card from Shanger Era to Special Summon Unicorn. Okay. So. Does Unicorn Sorry. get its effect? Continue. Um, I don't think it's on your turn. I don't think I can... Uh, if it just says when it's Special Summoned or whatever, then you will. Unless it doesn't say that. I don't know the wording on Unicorn. Once per turn, so when it... Uh... Ah, so you have to yeah. activate it. So like when it comes back to my turn. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's all good. I wasn't sure if it was on something. Um, I'm going to activate Allure of Darkness. Mm -hmm. I don't have a dark in my hand, so this could just be... The... Oh, wait, I know what's on top of my deck. All right, I I'm dead. <laughs> I have all spells okay. and traps. <laughs> so I lost... I lost my eternal soul. And uh, double illusion of chaos. And I couldn't activate... Um... Couldn't activate ref under... What's it called? Or inside mm. under, under macros. You can activate ref under macros cosmos and stuff like that, but you can't activate inside because it sends to yeah, cause, yeah, cause it yeah. So pretty much, I just did cash tier deck there. <laughs> no, no DM, but hey, that's all right. The cash tier board um, there's, uh, work. there's six ways, uh, like pretty much six starters in it, right? So For the cash stuff. Yeah. So I just gotta hit one of them. The goal is to get uh, Soul Servant and not Soul Servant, yeah, Soul Servant and Magician Souls, and with uh, Unicorn. Okay. And uh, if I'm not stressed and I'm not thinking too too much, I can lock out lock out six zones and banish eight. Oh my god! Yeah, you got a good banishes on me. Then I was very screwed. And the Macros Cosmos effect, very good. That's what I forgot to do last time. Like, in, I brought out the two Shanger Eras. Mm. I should have just did the one Shanger Era with the uh, Walking Cosmos, but yeah, I forgot about him. The Walking Cosmos is a very good card. Anyway, I gotta go, but thank you so much for the game. So epic. No, oh, same. Thank you so much. All right. I will uh, catch you again soon, then. Yeah, man. That was awesome. And I'll Hope see you have a good night. Or a good day, actually. Yeah, have a wonderful yeah, Easter as well. You too. Happy Easter. Have a good day. <laughs> and hopefully you get your belly filled full of yummy, delicious food. Oh, yeah. And get a good nap in. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to be doing that very soon. <laughs> All right. Catch you, man.